Thursday, December 7th, I received this word from the Lord at 10.53 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm going to encourage you all, as I always do, that you are to test every spirit. That's what God tells us to do in his word. He says, test every spirit. Do not despise prophecy, but do not always take it at face value either. Take it back to the Lord in prayer. Ask him to confirm or deny what you heard today. Meditate on his holy word, and he will speak to you there, and he will let you know if there is something that you need to be paying attention to. That being said, this is what the Lord said. My people, my chosen, my elect, my bride. That is who this word is addressed to. Pay very close attention to what I'm about to tell you. You are entering a time when the quality of each of your work will be tested. You must become fully reliant on me. You must not let go of desired outcomes. You must let go of desired outcomes. My ways will never be your own. My understanding is unsearchable. Who can find it out? I do what I please. My intentions will always be good. My chastisement is for your benefit. You live in a culture where pride is rampant. People are frequently bragging about their accomplishments, seeking and searching to be praised, acknowledged, approved of respected and even worshiped it is written you must stay hidden in the things of god constantly and continually searching your heart by my spirit for anything that would corrupt it guard your heart vigilantly against the fence you must not let that bitter seed take root pray without ceasing pray fervently pray for your enemies bless and do not curse them. Bitterness causes apathy. The opposite of a tender and responsive heart. Pray for the stony parts of your hearts to be made flesh. Ask for tender and responsive hearts that can love in the face of callousness, indifference, malice, and disgust. Hearts of mercy, forgiving hearts, gracious hearts, compassionate hearts. It's easy for you to be compassionate when you are shown compassion. But I have called you to show compassion in the face of hatred and to love them anyway. You must forgive as you have been forgiven. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. This gives the devil a mighty foothold. That not, do not was emphasized and the mighty foothold was emphasized as well. Check your hearts before you go to sleep for any unforgiveness by asking me to search them and reveal any wickedness within. Renounce it immediately and ask me to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Put your armor on. That was also emphasized every day. The minute you wake up, for what wise man would ever enter a battle without it? I said you would be hated for my name's sake. But your enemies are now my enemies. Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. It is not my desire for anyone to perish. Therefore, you should not desire that either, no matter how wicked their hearts have become. For what is too hard for me? Who can deliver like I can? I command the winds and the waves. I rebuke them and they stand still. You are commanded to love your neighbor no matter who that neighbor is. I am not partial. Therefore, you should not be either. You should not regard those who are clothed in costly attire as greater than the one who stands before you unkempt. Saying, sit here in a good place, that is not my way. I am not a God of favoritism. You are all equal in my sight. No one beaten greater than the other. This is the upside down kingdom. Remember, where the least shall be the greatest. I exalt the humble, but I bring low the proud and lofty one. I tear them down from their high places. I am doing it now to those who would dare take my glory for themselves. Exalting their name above my own. But what do they have that I have not given them? What gifts or abilities do they possess apart from my hand? 
Every good and perfect gift comes from your Father in heaven. So why brag as if you are so great? They that boast should boast in the Lord. Boast in the things I have done. Boast in the Lord your God. I alone am worthy to be praised. He wants me to read the confirmations. He brought me to Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21, just these words. And the word of the Lord came unto me. Verse 23, just these words, thus saith the Lord God. Verse 25, just these words, for I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Then in the KJV, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Colossians chapter 1, verse 10. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness giving thanks unto the father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light 